Hey, what's up, gang? We this. this is the come, and in today's 13.5 patch a preview. Yes, that's right. We're giving you a preview, so I'll be going through the champions, the items and everything else getting like buffed and nerfed and changed in 13.5 and tomorrow when the riot does actually release what the actual changes will be we will do a video on those as well so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss tomorrow's video and also make sure if you want to master any of the champions in this game if you want to master a role if you want to perfect your micro and macro we have so many videos uploaded to our website that are exclusive for our subscribers that help them reach their peak performance on the rift so make sure you guys join the club by signing up the links are in the description and comment section and yeah, let's get into the preview for 13.5. So we will start with champion buffs. So LeBlanc, I mentioned this in our previous 13.5 video because some of these changes did get leaked. And for LeBlanc, the fact you're going to get a mana refund and cooldown refund in your queue when you last hit minions, this is awesome. This helps with your wave clear. And yeah, just your laning phase, I guess, and CSing as well, right? This will also work for your ultimate queue too. And I'm sure LeBlanc mains out there are rejoicing. Let me know guys in the comment section if you are, because these do look really, really nice on paper. Now, another champion getting buffed is Kennen, Lil Kenny. And Kennen was meant to get buffed a couple of patches ago, but Riot pushed it back. But in 13.5, Kennen is listed here as getting buffed. What the buffs will be, I've got no idea. So it might be like kind of pointless doing this video. But again, I just want to tell you guys who's getting buffed so you can get excited for them. In before the balance team only give you like the smallest buff in the world. But yeah, Kennen getting buffed, he's really struggling at the moment. So this does seem legit. Even if you're picking him as like a counter pick to Fiora and Jax, you don't actually counter those champions because they're so busted. But this seems legit. Now, another champion getting buffed. Honestly, this feels like the Riven buff in a way, where I don't even know if this champion needs a buff at the moment. This being Aatrox. Like, yes, he's not S tier, I understand that. He's not as strong as he used to be, but he's not terrible. Like, he's still playable. But Ryder's deciding to buff him because I guess he's like one of the most popular top laners, and yeah, they gotta make that bank. So Aatrox getting buffed, ugh. It's one of those ones. Now, Trindamir is also getting buffed. This one I actually kind of agree with. Yes, Trindamir benefited from Navori quick play getting buffed, but in the top lane at the moment, and whether you're playing him in the mid lane, doesn't really matter. He's kind of just like underperforming. Kind of like Kennen compared to the other strong top planers. He really just like pales in comparison. The Trindamir getting buffed, I'm all for this, just as long as it's not super OP. Now, another champion getting buffed in the top lane is Rumble, and I'm kind of excited about this because Rumble, well, in pro play, it makes games super exciting because he's a very snowball-y, you know, kind of like coin flip champion, I guess. And because he's such a strong early game champion, he does very well in team fights as well because of his ultimate, of course. So I'm super excited to see what this is. Just probably don't pick him, guys, in 13.5 if you have a bunch of AP on your team because you probably will be useless going into like five hex drinkers. Now, moving to the mid lane, Fizz is the only champion here well along with LeBlanc I guess getting buffed again what the buffs are going to be I have no idea hopefully it's something to do maybe with like the mana cost in your E because at the moment for Fizz you're still having to go Luden's Tempest right whereas you would much rather just go like Rocket Belt or Night Harvester and not have to go in Mana Mythic those are for actual like control mages you're an assassin all you want to do is just like one round of combos but you go Oom so quickly so hopefully this is what the change will be again I'm not sure what it will be we'll have to wait and see Fizz mains let me know in the comments what you actually want to see eh? now moving down to the bot lane we've got two Two champions getting buffed. The first of these is Jinx. Now, honestly, I think Jinx is like kind of underrated right now. I think she's actually in like a fine position. And for her to get buffed, I'm kind of worried about it, especially in kind of like the pro sense, I guess, because Jinx is very good in pro play as well. She gets very good priority. She has amazing scaling right. Her laning phase is nowhere near as bad as what it used to be. And in most matchups, you're going to be able to scale out of them. There aren't that many like two dominant early game AD carries at the moment. So Jinx getting buffed. Yes, it does look a little bit frightening, but Jinx means she should be super happy, of course. Now, the other AD carry getting buffed is Samira. And Riot have classified here that this will be a partial walk back. Now, I'm guessing this is going to be some sort of buff to your passive, which they did nerf in 13.4. I mean, it could even still be that they'll give you a little bit of life still back in your ultimate because Samira has really dropped like a stone in this patch, right? Because of the nerfs. She's gone from like being S plus tier all the way down to like a B tier AD carry. A win rate has dropped like 3% as well. So this partial walk back, we will find out tomorrow exactly what it is. But still, I think this buff or these buffs are going to be justified. Now, champion nerfs. We talked about two of these in our 13.5 video so gangplank is getting nerfed your ease cooldown is now going to be on a flat 18 seconds the recharge timer that is and also your passive damage is getting nerfed in the early game just a tiny bit but more so in the mid to late game this is really important for GP, especially the passive nerf, because your passive is, well, it kind of separates like the best GP players from everyone else, right? Being able to like proc your kegs and use your passive multiple times, that's really the key to maximizing DPS on this champion, and that damage per second is going to be less next patch. Also, the barrel timer going up. Yes, it actually does mean something, even though you're getting Navori and all the haze from this, it still does mean something, especially in the early laning phase before you have all that ability haze. So GP is getting nerfed. Twitch AP is also getting nerfed, so the actual stacking, the AP ratio in your contaminate, this going down. I just think this is really healthy. I don't even know why like Twitch AP is a thing. 
this champion is meant to be an attack damage champion. But yeah, Twitch AP, I mean, I guess it opens up variety in the bot lane, but I just think it's like one of the most obnoxious things in the game, going AP Twitch, whether it's support AD carry with like Crown and Nashes. Oh, get me out. Now, funnily enough, Riot have actually put his Saras and Brace. Now, I'm not sure like if they've deliberately put this on champion nerfs. So like every champion going Saras, like a Nivea, Rise, Cassiopeia is getting nerfed here. Not sure what this is about, if it is like an actual item or if they're referring to a champion with this. But yeah, Saras and Brace is getting nerfed in 13.5. So will this mean that those champions I mentioned, like a Nivea, Cassiopeia, Rise, are going to get hit big time by this? We'll have to wait and see, of course. But this will also affect champions who aren't that great in the mid lane still building this. So maybe a champion like Orianna, maybe something like Victor, even Sin can build this, these champions might be worse off if the nerf is too big. Now staying in the mid lane just for a second here, we also have Aurelian Soul getting nerfed. This champion I've mentioned in our recent videos is performing at such a high level across every single elo, he's honestly probably like the number one mid laner. Yes, he's not as strong as he used to be, I understand that, but statistically speaking, he is in a very good position. So he's on the nerf list for 13.5. Now heading into the jungle, we have Rami getting nerfed. In other words, Ramus, the armadillo, and the reason for this is because, well, he's just like outperforming pretty much every single jungler in the majority of elos. Now in higher elo, he's not doing doing too well, but yes, across most elos, which is where most people play, this champion has ridiculous stats like 53 plus percent win rate, so that probably does justify Ramus getting nerfed in 13.5. Now heading back down to the bot lane here, we've got two AD carries getting nerfed, and honestly I even called for one of these getting nerfed, I mean it's not like the biggest prediction of all time, but Zyra is getting nerfed in 13.5. The buffs to Navori, so because it's your second item now and the actual passive is proccing your 40% crit, and the buffs to your attack speed a couple of patches ago, they have meant this champion is just super OP, and that's in every single elo as well. This isn't just like specific to high elo or like low elo, every single elo lock in Zyra, you've got a great chance of winning. The other AD carry getting nerfed, and we've seen this champion picked and banned for so long now in pro play, even in just normal, you know, solo queue she's picked and banned, this being Caitlyn. This champion is just the ultimate lane bully still, even if you pick something like Varus into her or something that might do well into her, like an Ash, these champions just aren't strong enough to compete with a Caitlyn. So thankfully she's on the nerf list as well. I think most of these nerfs and even the buffs, they actually seem pretty good and healthy for the game thus far. Now the last champion guys getting nerfed in 13.5 is Yorick. So I'm kind of surprised by this because Yorick really kind of like struggles in high elos and those one tricks really aren't going to appreciate whatever's going to happen to them in 13.5. But yes, in the majority of elos, if you're going something like Sundra, if you're abusing the new Black Cleaver, which is giving you HP and more attack damage, whatever build you're going on Yorick, the champion is doing very well and just digging upgrades for his opponents. So yeah, maybe this is validated through the actual stats we're seeing in the majority of elos. Now moving to champion adjustments. First of all, we have Yumi. Now I don't want to talk too much about Yumi, but let me just tell you guys, she's going to be super busted. Like I just guarantee it. The fact you can now move your ultimate to where your cursor is going, so it's not just going to be in like a straight line, you can actually direct it based on your cursor. Also, the rest of your abilities, I mean, Ryan have pretty much said here, and we mentioned these in our 13.5 previous video, that her abilities are now going to be better for her best friend. So whoever you're attached to, right? But in particular, the AD carry you're next to. And if you guys have actually seen any of the footage of the new Yumi, oh, just get me out. Like, this is going to be picked and banned. Honestly, I just want them to, like, delete the champion or just make her targetable. That would be so nice for the game. Like, you can actually hit a Yumi rather than hitting the champion she's attached to. Like, you guys know the drift by now. But yeah, Yumi is one champion getting adjusted. Moving on, we have Pantheon. Now, Pantheon Pantheon is actually getting some big changes. I've kind of like seen what these might be. So your Q cooldown is going to go down. The mana cost is also going to go down. Your attack speed ratio is going up as well. And your base attack speed. So these are really nice for Pantheon. They make your laning phase a little bit better. But your health growth is going to go down by like 1.5. So you will be a little bit squishier in the mid to late game. But the trade off is your early game is going to be better. Your Q poke, your Q spam is going to be more effective as well. Now moving on, we have Z. So the E cooldown revert. Well, yeah, that's all it is. Your E, the cooldown is getting reverted. So I'm guessing Ryder right, talking about the 1223 nerf where they increase your ease cooldown from rank 2 onwards well this is actually going back to what it was before this patch. I'm pretty sure anyway. I'm assuming this is what they're talking about. So I don't even know why this is like a champion adjustment. This is just a straight up buff for Zed. So yeah, he's getting buffed in 13.5. Good luck to all you mid laners out there. Now the last two champions guys getting adjusted here. First of all, we have Ash. Now pretty much these adjustments, and we've already talked about these in our 13.5 video, they are trying to push Ash towards more of like an AD carry Ash. So they're actually making your Q a cooldown now. So a 10 second cooldown. But what they're doing is actually making this scale off attack speed, right? So if you're building attack speed like any other AD carry, you will benefit benefit more from this than you will right now. Now, obviously, this doesn't benefit support Ash in any single way. So you're missing out on this. And for support Ash, because she's one of the most like obnoxious and oppressive champions right now, she's picked and banned in pro play, solo queue, super annoying to play against. Your W's cooldown is increasing at later rank, so it's going from 4 seconds to rank 5 to 6 seconds. And also your ultimate's cooldown is increasing in the early game. So they're trying to push Ash 
out of the support role, which seems good, and into the AD carry role. Now, the final champion getting adjusted is kind of like Ash in a way, this being Azir. Now, his win rate may have improved a little bit, like across all Lilos, but he's still like a pretty underwhelming champion in solo queue. So what they're going to be doing is decreasing your mana even more in the early game, but they are going to be increasing like your attack speed, so your base attack speed stats. So that means hopefully you won't have to go Nash's too. If you can actually build legit items, I mean, they should just make it so like Nash's is on hit, procs on your soldiers, but they're not doing that. But yeah, the actual changes to Azir again, guys, we detailed in our 13.5 video. So if you want to know the changes, go and watch that. It's also like half the video. There's so many of them. But yeah, Azir mains again, let me know in the comment section. And anyone else, if you play these champions we mentioned, let me know what you think the changes are actually going to be. Now the system buffs. We only have one item getting buffed here, this being Cosmic Drive. Now obviously if you're playing AP champions, so you know, people who are interested in ability haste, so we might be talking stuff like Vladimir, maybe like Silas, you know, these champions where, yeah, ability haste and having lower cooldowns, it's just the essence of your champion. Maybe stuff like, you know, Gragas will be interested in this as well, Shaco, AP Shaco in the jungle, maybe some supports as well, maybe, might open you up, you know, in the mid to late game after your first two major items. But yeah, Cosmic Drive is getting buffed in 13.5. Now system adjustments, there are no system nerfs here, but honestly adjustments could mean anything from the balance team. So first of all, we have Triumph, because they've buffed Overheal like two patches in a row, but still no one is actually like going that rune. So by nerfing Triumph, they're trying to encourage you to go Overheal. But honestly, I don't think this will change too much. And again, we went through those changes, the Triumph changes in our 13.5 video. And we also did the same thing for Grass Neon Dying. These changes have been released. I don't know how much that's going to change, honestly, like the Grass kind of changes. You're getting more HP from the rune and a base heal. And honestly, as far as like the champions going Grass right now, especially champions like Fiora, Jax goes it in some matchups, Camille, right? These Bruises fighters, GP. I still think they're going to be able to abuse this, but obviously we'll have to wait and see for 13.5. And finally, guys, there are jungle adjustments. So Riot are trying again, once again, because they've done this for a couple of patches now, they're trying to encourage you to clear your camps because it's still, well, just not really like worth to counter jungle or to clear your own camps when you're playing these really good gankers like J4, Elise still, Maokai still very good, actually. You don't actually have to farm your camps all that much to be effective. The much more snowball and just, yeah, highest win rate player style in the jungle is to just hit your level 3 spike and perma gank lanes. But we'll have to see again if it actually changes the jungle play style in 13.5. But guys, those were the listed changes for next patch. Let me know in the comment section any thoughts you might have. Please remember to leave a like down below on the video if you have watched it up until this point. Thank you so much. And until tomorrow's season 13 upload where we detail what these changes are going to be, this has been The Come. Bye.